Hello beautiful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm doing back-to-back uh, -back female fragrance reviews because these fragrances, they are pending in my list. These belong to my GF, the lady. And uh, she likes these fragrances. She ordered them. I picked them up and uh, sort of like doing reviews and then I'll return them. So hopefully uh, these fragrance reviews are beneficial. I understand uh, female fragrance reviews do not get so much view on my channel. It's okay. My Most of my followers are, I think, uh, on the men's side but you know uh, fragrances are fragrances they have no boundaries no gender for me you wear what you like wearing and it's always a pleasure to sm smell new stuff and review okay so Dolce & Gabbana today I'm reviewing an interesting one I have reviewed a clone of this one before but this is the real deal I haven't reviewed any, the original one yet but this is Dolce & Gabbana I think Femme Intense EDP the velvety box okay so I took out basically the sticker the Dolce & Gabbana I really like these stickers from the uh, plastic then I threw the plastic away I kept the sticker on this really really nice the box looks really awesome and uh, it really feels nice in the hand it's like a very comforting sort of like a velvet you know and this is a classic fragrance so the originator of this is EDT concentration I think this is EDP so basically these fragrances are very popular top seller from this house and they also have their the one line they have Dolce & Gabbana Dolce line then they have the Le Imperatrice, you know, like those, uh, the niche, anthology, whatever those lines are. So here's the bottle. Uh, these bottles are pretty, but there's a defect in these bottles to my eyes. I'm a bit OCD about these. This is that bottle. I recently reviewed Dolce & Gabbana, the one, the only one, only one, two, uh, femme. So this actually is not, uh, I think, that line because this is poor femme line. This one follows this uh, other one, like Dolce & Gabbana, like blue. They are near bottles, they have these caps, uh, same exact size, and this is 100 ml, I think, EDP. Is it 100 ml? Yeah, this is 100 ml. This reminds me a little bit of Dolce & Gabbana um, Purom Intenso by Men. This one has that, that one has the same coloration, like this. They have a lot of fragrances. So, the one thing I don't like about, first of all, let me tell you, if you hold it like this, you can see, I don't know if it's big enough, this is not really like a proportion to the bottle. It's like doesn't go with, it's got a little bit this way, and the bottle goes like with that way. It's slanted, just a little tiny little attention to detail. I don't know if they meant to make it like this, but I tried putting that thing. Uh, uh, you can, but you know, it doesn't satisfy me. I mean, like this is not the most nicely built. These bottles are a bit poorly built on top. This is plastic. The cap is little, uh, plasticky, okay, not very heavy. Okay, good quality. Uh, Sprayer looks like that. Bottle I really like. The coloration of the bottle is nice. You can see through the juice. Bottom will get you information. So let's spray this. I have it on the paper for some time. It does not have so much transformation. Sprayer is okay. Okay, little, little burst. So this fragrance basically to my nose is a floral perfume. And it does have a velvety sort of a texture. That's why the name I think or the bottle or the box supposedly got this velvety uh, texture like a sort of like cushion and the fragrance smells really nice it opens up with a little bit of mandarin orange I detect some oranges some citrus definitely like it's a little bit fresh up top but very very quickly it goes to more floral side of things it has uh, florals like all my favorite florals nearly two bros and I think this one has a musky dry down it's sweet it's a little bit of um, it's a little bit like if you do like a Dior's poison line it has that sort of poison sort of feel, kind of like intoxicating, seductive sort of feel. And this fragrance definitely is a long lasting perfume. It does last a long time, so definitely it's a good performing one. The original one, the ADT, I haven't tried. I mean, or the ADP without the intense version, the regular version, I have to try. But I think this is gonna be good for uh, mild cold weather, fall, those kind of seasons, this will be perfect. Great dating scenario, your signature scent. I can see a lady wearing this for a number of years and she's been owning many bottles of this same perfume because it's very addictive smell and it's such a lovely perfume very recognizable true classic okay so uh, the clone I was talking about you can if you find this bit expensive because this is on the expensive side under hundred dollars if you find it expensive I have this alternative of arm off okay and if you see the bottle they even <laughs> took the same inspiration and arm off offered this for twenty five dollars okay this is it arm off Italiano Donna uh, I reviewed this long time ago. I have some, still have some juice left. I use it once in a while, very strong. And I think both these fragrances could be unisex. Men can wear it. Something about this perfume, it's really unisex to my nose. But 
Um, ladies definitely smell it, the flowers, you smell like, okay, it's a little bit dark, chocolatey. So the velvety thing comes from a chocolate. I don't know if any chocolate mentioned in this, but definitely chocolatey feel from Arma Italiano Donna. So I think I was the very first one to review this back in the days. So I'll leave a link below, check it out. This is very surprising. This one even lasts more than Dolce & Gabbana, okay? And that is surprising because Armov, it's a clone house. But the quality in this, you cannot distinguish between these two after a while. After one hour, exact same fragrance, okay? But if you have been wearing Dolce & Gabbana for some time and you smell this on someone, you perhaps can tell like this is a little bit uh, different than this. This is a little bit more sophisticated. This is very loud. This is 8 to 10 hours. This one will give you like 6 to 7, okay? So this is definitely a good alternative, very good buy chocolatey fragrance, even men can use it. They also have Italian Donna Vivo, the white one, I think that is a clone of something else. I reviewed that as well. So yeah, in general, this fragrance actually is very nice. Only thing I have a complaint is this cap and top, it's a bit cheap feeling. I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that, that, that uh, squeaky noise, it feels like a little bit cheap plastic or paper, you know, like very cheap feel. Apart from that, it's good. Uh, sometimes people have problem there when you pull the cap see it's a bit tough sometimes if it becomes old the whole part comes off in the, at least in the Dolce Gabbana light blue so that could be a manufacturing defect they should improve on these all right but apart from that the perfume is absolutely stunning I'll give it 9 out of 10 really nice bottle shiny glossy bottle presentation looks nice you can put like a pearl on the top of the bottle and take a picture in your dressing table look very pretty okay and if you can afford that Italian Donna <laughs> by Armo so yeah, beautiful fragrance, check it out. I think, how much would I give it? Let's give it nine, nine out of 10, okay? Dolce & Gabbana, uh, EDP intense. Thanks for watching. The reviews are done for the day. Some more female perfumes are coming up in next few days. See you soon, have a nice day, bye-bye.